Today's ride, it's just standard Sunday long ride. Up here at Palm Beach now, it's absolutely gorgeous. Probably head back down the beaches, drop in Manly, maybe come back via Wake Coast Parkway. It's all about zone two today. Just vlogging the hours. Feeling pretty good. It's a nice morning to be out. This is one of my favorite parts of Palm Beach and most people don't even know that it's here. There's like a climb out just over the back that takes you through the Whale Beach. I think a lot of people just go straight back down the water road. This thing's pretty amazing. Small little climb winds up through the, the Hollywood Hills of Palm Beach and then descends down into Whale Beach. Check it out. This is the finish line. Have a look at this. This is just in Sydney's north. This is such a fantastic place to rock. down to North Head now. Turn around her back, yeah? Let's talk writing and filming. Something that I'm starting to get into a little bit. Something I feel like there is a whole lot of questions and a whole lot of discoveries that need to be made. What is the right camera? What is the right mount? What is the right position on the bike? What is safe? What is 
good footage. But it's interesting to watch. Am I interesting enough to be filming videos about me cycling? So far I'm liking uh, the new GoPro uh, here at 12 Black. Uh, I went with it because I've had GoPros before, it's familiar. Um, my friend Joe, he suggested that I look at the DJI. I think one of the standout features of that one is that it's got the magnetic clamp. Um, playing around with different filming, front on and uh, mounted on the bike, it's a bit of a pain in the butt trying to screw the GoPro in and out every time you want to change views. The DJI, I think it's got like a magnetic clamp, so maybe that would have been a winning feature. So far, I've just been mounting it on my line mount. It's fine, which is pretty good because it gets all the action, but it's pretty hard to get in this position to talk to the camera. The other alternative is just holding it, which, aside from the obvious fear of dropping it, also means that there's one hand not on the handlebars. I'm still undecided what's the best approach. I guess the only other alternative is a chest mount, but I mean, they're a bit dorky and a bit prominent. I guess you could always mount it on the handlebars, but I'm not sure how well that's gonna work on this aero style handlebar. I'm thinking I'm gonna to have to give a go to one of those ridiculous bite mounts for the GoPro. I see people riding around with it all the time. Hey, maybe it gives you the right view and maybe it's the, the, the right combination of piece to camera as well as action shots. So what do you do? Maybe let me know in the comments. We're going to wrap things up here with one of our uh, local best job secrets. A uh, German bakery here that makes fresh bagels. Load it up, ready to go home and surprise the town. See you all later. Thanks for listening.